Hey guys, it's Mr. Devonai here, and we are back with the Destiny 2 Seasonal Story for Season of the Deep. Like, last two weeks, we... Well, the last two weeks before the last two weeks, we kind of skipped out on the story to play it all in one go on that second week, which we're doing again for this one, which I've heard has a lot of big um, story implications pertaining to the ending of Lightfall, The Witness, the final shape, and what the hell the veil is. Yo, I didn't look at our aquariums after we picked up all those plants. It looks a lot prettier. <laughs> that thing was like doo doo doo, man. Drift! What's the word, brother? All this Golden Age tech is impressive stuff. Almost makes you wonder how they lost back then. You dig? <laughs> About that. If we're looking to win this time. I need Savathun's swamp to wash up a few finishing touches for my rig. Cracking skulls and looting halls is your bag, hero. That's why you're headed to her throne world. That pyramid Savvy brought down, it's cut off from the witness. Scorn bigwigs been digging tech we can use out of that burning heap. All you have to do is find them and take it. Then you let old Drifter worry about the kit bashing. Easy. Hey, uh, one more thing. Zivu dripping nonsense in your head, too? She's been recounting mm. some of my more heroic exploits. Dark Ages been on my mind. Been on mine, too. You know how the past is? Yeah. You pull the trigger and people die, so you don't have to. Then, someone comes along and wants to forgive you for that. Like it's fine. Won't yeah. ask what Zivu's judging up for a killer like you. Wouldn't be polite. Thunderguns down there, though. Been under pressure so long. Everybody's looking for cracks. Don't get me wrong, coin to table. She's been through it. But I don't think Sloane's looking to be told it's fine. Because it ain't. Because it needs to be ugly to win. And then, you live with it. See you on the other side. Damn. We're setting up a pretty dark story for Final Shape. <laughs> sure. Let us witness the conversation. Oh. Whoa, she's outside. They're having a drink, like they asked. <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> sure is. You ever been outside of Seoul? Never had a reason to. Hmm. Can't say I recommend it. Saw some stuff while I was out there. Bad stuff. A world hmm. colder than you can imagine. Creatures that oh. suppress light. My crew. Let's just say we wore out our welcome. Creatures started closing in. Trigger fingers got itchy. Some of us froze to death. A lightless final death the others they didn't go so quiet not until I shut them up sheesh yeah. not sure how long the hell? I stayed after that had to mod my ghost to survive used the parts from this guy's still alive or not I'm pretty sure his guy's still alive he just never shows it I did what it took to get off world. And now I'm here. I'm no stranger to combat, but. How did you leave it all behind? I didn't. Some things you carry with you forever. But eventually, they stop feeling too heavy to lift. Hmm. Damn. 
Thanks for the drink, Drifter. <laughs> Anytime, Sloan. That's kind of sweet. He's got to be a warlock, right? Hey, boy. <laughs> hey, boy. <laughs> they was drinking bleach. They was drinking bleach. <laughs> Ain't that crazy? Damn. Yeah, no, he's not. He doesn't show his ghost, and he doesn't tell you which uh, class he is. But I'm thinking uh, everything used to like happen here. on Earth, right? Like the Dark Age and stuff. Most of it happened on Earth. Well, I don't know. The collapse happened, and most of the Dark Age happened on Earth because everyone else died everywhere else in the solar system. <laughs> like one of my favorite parts of Mars from D1. Was a like a vacation city called New or not New Hold? It's called Freehold. It has a few missions inside Freehold. But that used to be like a bustling city that you would go on for vacation, and then the Dark Age hit and it just killed everyone. <laughs> Darkness killed every single person. Damn, that is crazy to me. I have a um feeling that after the final shape. I think we're gonna travel outside the solar system more. Yeah. So I, that made me really happy to hear about his little adventure outside. Uh, that didn't make me so happy to hear that he had to kill all his friends. <laughs> all right, sure. all right. What do you have to say? Yo! Anathema is like a hive war planet. Oh. Like they have a bunch of anathemas, I guess. Or at least I thought they had a bunch of anathemas. Maybe they only have one, because he only said it once, but... We're almost there. My link with Asa feels crystal clear. It's a little frightening, but strangely comforting, too. A lot changed while I was gone. It feels like... Like the entire universe moved on without me, and now I'm struggling to catch up. Old enemies became new allies. New enemies wield the light against us. And old allies... Friends... Like Amanda... Sometimes I wonder... If I return to the tower, would it even be my home anymore? Damn. Or would I just be a phantom? A forgotten memory wandering its streets at night. Zivu Arath's voice keeps telling me I don't belong there. That the battlefield is my home. That it always has been. Maybe she's right. Maybe reliving what I went through over and over again is a way for me to... Stay in familiar territory. To remain in the hell that I know. And avoid the one I dread. Damn. Either way, the mission comes first. I have to see it through to the end. Regardless of where I end up when it's done. She don't die at the end of the season, does she? <laughs> uh. Oh, the yeah, next one starts immediately. Uh, I was about to say. Ah, I see you. You see me too. Uh. Oh my God, Saint. <laughs> then it is all work. Fair. You, me, this projector. Bro, what am I listening to? <laughs> <laughs> there is a war building in Sloane's eyes. 
One that Zivu Arach will exploit, as she did with Osiris. Savathun wore his face, but it was Zivu Arach who took his light. Her whips drove him into a frenzy, lured him into danger, forced Sagira's sacrifice, and left him to die. Now she twists my thoughts into thorns, draws out the faces of the suffering Elixni into my dreams. She okay. whispers that I took pleasure in their pain. I see their eyes as they died by my hands, and they see me. She does not lie. She challenges what you hold as a strength. Osiris's ambition, my protection. Slow duty. I have felt how the right war, the right face, can incite one to violence. But I have changed. What she has taken, it will not break me. Sloan is no warrior of glass. But the war within her, even stone crumbles under enough strife. Stay with her, Guardian, as I should have with Osiris. We must offer her what support we are able, even if she does not want it. Hmm. Hello. We bring you coral from Throne World. survival bolstered by hope and so their hopes became reality whoa they called it the gardener whoa their deity of life it ushered them into a golden age the garden for eons they prospered but their newfound god never spoke to them it lavished them with gifts oh shit guidance and though they lived in paradise, they came to crave a greater purpose. That's they the darkness here. Meaning, structure, oh. a to shape the garden. A winnower. Oh shit! Discovered that the gardener shared a connection with another entity among the stars. They called it the Veil, and when they found it. They arrived to claim it. They already knew much about the light. How it could bend the laws of the universe and create life. But they came to realize that it could bring ruin just as easily. The cosmic events it set in motion could wipe out entire civilizations in a heartbeat. Without reason. And so they saw the light, not as a source of prosperity, but of unfettered chaos. By studying the veil, oh. they came to know the darkness. A power that was shaped by thought and consciousness. And in the darkness, 
They found the means to carve away the chaos of existence, to calcify it into a final shape. Eternal and perfected. They brought the veil back to the gardener in an attempt to strengthen their connection. There, they could reshape reality itself. The gardener would not allow it. And so it fled their world. Oh, shit. But they would not be deterred. Whoa. Having witnessed the truth in the darkness, they used its binding power to merge themselves. Oh, shit. Whoa. Salvation they crave. Oh, I get it. Thus began the witnesses' pursuit. Its campaign to impose... They're the all the witnesses. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. One that is nearly at its end. Oh, shit. That's why you see all the faces on his head and, oh. That is amazing. <laughs> that was wild. <laughs> that was wild. Sheesh. That's why we don't see more of his kind, because he is all of his kind. <laughs> Whoa. But they were just like us, bro, like a like a city and everything. Yo, that's nuts. Sheesh. Well, now we've heard what Asa had to tell us. We know our enemy better than ever. Mm. I think that it all started with the need for purpose. How that need became an obsession. What bothers me most is how much I understand it. This mission. It's my purpose, my reason for being. My guiding light. Without it, I... I'm lost. I don't know who I am or what I'm supposed to do. And that lack of direction, it's harder to face than a thousand battles. I felt the same about my previous mission when I held the line on Titan. And if I'm being honest, it feels like I failed. I survived, but for what reason? What was it all meant to achieve? The only answer I've found is to learn what Asa knows. If I can do that, it will all have been worth it. Our link ended before Asa could explain how to get through the portal. Mm. The bond took its toll. But we'll both be ready again soon. When that time has come and gone, then I can feel like I accomplished the mission. Okay. One last dive will be the last one. Shush. Yeah. That was crazy. I'm so glad we figured out more about that dude, though. The ever forward march of time has a humorous way of looping in on itself. Doesn't it? In some ways. A long-lived perspective makes it difficult not to see trends die and resurface. Do you think that's how the witness sees us? Variations of potential, or lack thereof? What's really on your mind? Slow. She is singularly focused on her mission. That type of focus. You forget to come up for air. Hmm. It's like a death when it's over. Your command can be an anchor. Keep her from drifting. That's what I try to do for you. I seem to recall pushing back against your methods quite often. The Dark Age drove us to extremes. 
Your style of leadership is more refined than mine. It wasn't long ago that I was your pupil. Since then, I'd like to think we've developed a trust beyond authority or duty. How did you foster that friendship while being my superior? You're not listening, Zavala. I didn't. Remember, you left my tutelage. All I did was give you the lessons I thought you needed to survive. Nothing more. You're saying I can't be all things. I'm saying I can't tell you what you want, because our friendship was not of my making. When the Iron Lords fell, when the Red Legion caged the Traveler, when the pyramids filled our skies, my heart was not open. You were. Despite your doubts, others see you as a pillar of strength. They're drawn to the shade you provide. Just stay standing. Ooh. That's pretty dope. I like that one. <laughs> I like that one a lot. Is that the only one? That cheese beads is the only one. Right here, right? Yeah. Tioma yeah. Essie. Research log. Exos. Exos. Mai and I have built a working theory around the deaths of our Exo crewmates after their exposure to the veil. According to Maya, Exo mines contain a combination of Vex Radiolaria and something known as Clarity. They do. Radiolaria are alien microorganisms living within a hive mind state. Or, I suppose more accurately, a community. Clarity is... Maya described it as a paracausal power derived from an alien artifact. Something Vraytek had kept secret. Something Maya... Maya thinks the Veil and this artifact are related. That the paracausal force from the Veil overloaded their exomines. Unraveled them. It's like taking a powerful magnet to an archaic magnetic storage device. Oh. Full erasure. But Maya, she thinks we can reverse engineer this phenomenon. Use it to write data to a clarity infused object. Fabricate consciousness. Scientifically, the process seems sound, but morally. <sighs> Maya keeps saying that we're past the point of morality. She said that. She's convinced that our survival hinges on mastery of the veil. It's like she's the one unraveling. I feel like I'm losing her. But every time I try and push, I feel her move a little further away. I'm... I don't know if I can lose anything else. How much more can any of us lose before there's nothing left? Nimbus, how much do you know about the Cloud Strider's no. creation? The technology used? You don't think... And Ooh. I make no assertions yet. But I worry that your neon-lit city may have darker roots than either of us knew. Oh. There you go. <laughs> oh. Chioma Essie. Ooh. Ooh. Siva. Siva. What happened to Siva? Fabrication system. Intended to be used by Exodus ships to rapidly build necessary resources from base matter. Maya calls it Willa Bray's obsession without a hint of self-awareness. But we... we both see the potential it poses for the future. Each nanomachine in Siva's design is an independent, thinking machine, utilizing a distributed quantum network to coordinate movement. Like a mechanical version of Radiolaria. Mm. Probably where the design was inspired from, if I'm being honest. But the design can be pushed. We're, uh... We're looking at ways of incorporating components from disabled Vex and erased exomines. If we can insulate the nanomachines from the radiation that killed the exos, maybe... Maybe their deaths won't be for nothing. Wait. Does what? Does this really mean I'm part Vex? Well, it's too early to jump to these conclusions, Nimbus. But there does seem to be some connection between the Vex and the Cloud Striders. 
may explain why you and the others are able to enter the Vex network oh. without the aid of splicers. Can I time travel? <laughs> <laughs> no, let's hope not. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah. And that's it for this week. I bet we get one more message tomorrow. Not tomorrow. Tuesday. Along with one more mission. Damn. That was a lot of revelation. <laughs> So crazy to think. I wish that would have been at the end of Lightfall. <laughs> that story? Yes, that cutscene. That explains so much. I don't know why they didn't do that. Damn. That was that was good as shit. But thank you guys for watching. Yeah, thank you guys <laughs> <laughs> for tuning in. Oh my god! And we cannot wait to see you in the next one next week. Whenever we end up seeing the end of whatever this seasonal storyline is. Okay, well. <laughs> Your body, like, hit the window and slid down so slow. <laughs> anyway. Guardian down. We will see you guys <laughs> time. Bye bye! In the next one. Bye -bye. See you! Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. <laughs>